Stellar Blade, the game that was being heralded as a middle finger to the Western gaming industry. For months, we watched as the progressives vilified Stellar Blade while championing other games with full nudity and sex scenes. Mmm, bears. Got a fat, cripple, ugly character? Look out, sexy alert. Let me ride in your wheelchair, daddy. The gaming journalists cried out in unison. Stellar Blade had great marketing telling us that the game will be uncensored, raw, and uncut. Yes! Around the world. And it had a decent demo to boot. We were lulled into a false sense of security. Trouble started on April 24th, when the review embargo dropped. And the hard R lame controversy also dropped. Stellar Blade embargo is up, so I can finally show you the hard R shot. Graffiti, laugh my ass off, wonder how long this will take to get patched out. Mm. Are you talking like N-word hard R? What? No. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's how people use that term. No. This was a nothing burger of a reused asset being put in the wrong place. But games journalists acted as if it was a major issue. Sony removing Stellar Blade's unintentional N-word re reference. What? That's the title? Ugh. Gaming journalist. Sony says Stellar Blade art referencing racist language was unintentional will be patched out. Well, thank God. Seeing the hard R literally triggered me so bad that I almost pissed myself and then I shot my pampers. <laughs> I barely made it to the furry convention in time. Lyle pointed out how all the journalists had the same racist concerns within 30 minutes of going live of each other for the review embargo. Weird how the hard graffiti, meanwhile, can be found numerous areas throughout the game. Her IGN and the juxtaposition was noticed so fast. It's almost as if there's some sort of slack chat. And it was blocked by Lance. It's like I always say, men named Lance are always up to some gay shit. Lyle immediately fired back with probably one of the greatest catchphrases I've heard all year. Eat my f Most people would write this off as conspiracy theories or coincidences. But the last four years of America have proven to me that a lot of conspiracy theories were proven to be right. The journalists on Twitter wanted to dunk on Stellar Blade so bad that they pretended that they all loved Bayonetta all of a sudden. And I remember when that game came out. My God, it was so problematic. I couldn't keep my hand out of my pants. There is a subtle but important distinction between empowering sexuality a la Bayonetta and the male gaze, ass, and titties sexuality. Is that what the hell she wrote? I think it is. Who cares? I guess this person thinks, oh my God. Of course, Sony had to patch this out of the game for fear of upsetting white liberals, journalists, and or black people on Twitter who think that America is more racist than it's ever been. But with this patch, other changes came about. The bunny suit got nerfed. Arguably the cutest suit she has in the game. You have to beat the game first to get it. I wouldn't know, I've only played an hour. But this is typical Sony when it comes to anything sexuality involving women. Hell, Nintendo has more edge now. Gore was also cut from the game demo, which made no sense, cause it was pretty cool to rip a monster in half and be showered in blood. Ah. <sighs> Oh well. But that wasn't the end of it. Other revealing outfits that made me feel very frisky inside got puritanized as well. When Sony moved its head offices to California, I knew it was over. The good times were done. I got nothing for it, man. It's just, just a dark age of gaming. Asia's laughing at us over this controversy on Stellar Blade. As Perma Band has said herself. So... A viral meme going around in Taiwan and Hong Kong. If you only knew how often Taiwan laughs at us, dude, you have no idea. Looks like the fake Western controversy over Stellar Blade made such a huge stink that Chinese have started mocking them. All right, so practically, the whole of East Asia is laughing now. Not really anything new. They got a load of our military. For some reason, some of our generals don't need tampons, but they have them anyway. That's all I can say. Stop them! Look at those meat racks. Yuba booba booba. Now you might say that this game is offensive to women. Well, here's some video of women enjoying Stellar Blade on Twitch. Let's go! Oh yes. Oh yes, I uh I can see a whole bunch of reasons why one might enjoy this game. Oh this is fun! Ooh, look at the hair. <laughs> Yo, what are her shoes? Is this girl fighting in heels? Boom! So far, this is honestly better than I expected. Try again, Puritan. I'm of two schools of thought on this one. 
one? I don't really care. But I don't care about much outside of my little dog. Two, on the other hand, people paid for one thing and were bait and switched with this patch. It reminds me of when I ordered Taco Bell recently for the first time in ages. And I got a trash meal that wasn't what I paid for. So I'm all for this movement. How dare you sell me a beef taco with three little tiny pieces of chicken, some lettuce, and a whole shit ton of cheese. You little dick bags. This is something else. Screw you, Taco Bell. Of course, Twitter progs had to dunk on people upset with the Stellar Blade patch. God forbid you get upset with the company in 2024. They have your best interest in mind. You coomer. Am I understanding this correctly? Yes, but actually no. Thank you, Adam Ellis. Notice how this character has a red hat. So if you like this game and then they censored and upset you, you must be a MAGA supporter and stupid. Holy shit, this game looks good. Wow. Well, Adam got destroyed in the reply, so he locked down his Twitter like a little bitch. Sayonara! People then began altering his meme to truly fit the modern narrative. And it's pretty much on the money. Grums launched the free Stellar Blade hashtag and a change.org petition that will change nothing. The only thing this will do is give the prog something to meme on. Let's name a time when change.org petitions actually did something to change something. Don't worry, I'll wait. Well, anyway, as I stated, the progs got wind of this and started to mobilize by sending Grums a threat. 20k to anyone that makes this dip disappear. Well, that isn't very progressive of you, Mr. Tone Man. I thought we were against violence and bigotry. Why don't you stop the Asian hate? <gasps> oh, no. Wait, oh, what? Oh, my God. No. What? How dare you kill sexy, hot Asian women? Here we go. Cool. Uh, here's one from my boy Eric. This is actually one of my favorite attempts to dunk on people who like Stellar Blade and got upset with this. Let daddy zoom in. Oh, you little slut. You may as well say, sign this if you never had a woman. But then we catch him yet again. That OnlyFans video was hot, hot, hot. I'm subbing. Bro, you got caught in 16K. To hell with 4K. At the end of the day, this is our culture war. Ultimately meaningless and pathetic. Much like our lives at times. A few pixels on the screen that have been deemed evil because it isn't safe horny. For those who don't know, safe horny is anything gay or just basically not heterosexual. It's also not the game that the game's media has deemed to be acceptable wonderful and progressive. We live in an age where consumerism and the never ending war against heteronormative interests or sexuality marches on. Gray Fox once said best at the end of Metal Gear Solid, we're not tools of the government or anyone else. Fighting was the only thing, the only thing I was good at, but at least I fought for what I believed in. And on that note, give them hell, make them annoyed, who cares? Piss in their suit, take a shit in a paper bag, set it on fire and put it on their like porch. That's how you take it. Out of the closet and into the streets. That's what I say.